Hello there, I'm Yvonne DeSillis coming to you today on my channel, Why Energy. Hello, hello, hello. Um, if you're new to my channel, I welcome you and I hope you will be back. And if you're not new, if you've been here before, I really, really appreciate you. And I appreciate you spending time with me, so I thank you. I'm going to try to make this video fairly quick and succinct. I'm going to go back there where all that stuff is, just because you're not going to be able to see what I'm doing while I'm sitting. I want to show you how to do the Wayne Cook posture. Once again, it's Wayne Cook. And this is a really, really good energy healing exercise if you need to get rid of stress, if you need to calm down. It's also really, really good for people who are dyslexic and who have other medical conditions that are made worse, where the symptoms are made worse by stress. This is a really, really good energy healing exercise. I learned this one from Donna Eden, as most things. I've learned most of my energy healing tips and tricks from Donna Eden or her daughters, Titania and Dandi Dalin. But I also learned it in the Energy Healing Academy that I got certified from back in 2019. So anyway, I'm going to stand up and go back there so that you can see this full routine and I'm hoping that I don't accidentally take the phone with me. Um, I have a wired microphone and unfortunately it's not working as well as it used to. It used to work really well, I think, anyway, but I have to find a better audio solution once again because I've tried making this video several times. And every single time I try to make this, something goes wrong. So hopefully this is going to work. I really, really hope this is going to work. I'm going to go back as far as I possibly can. I want you to see how the Wayne Cook posture works. So you can do this seated, you can do this lying down, you can do this sitting down, you can do it standing. I prefer to do it sitting because I have dizziness issues, I have mobility problems. But in order for you to see what I'm doing, I have to go back as far as I can, which is having to move this fan out of the way. But remember, you do not have to do this standing, you can do this seated. Um, what you want to do is cross your arms, and as far as what arm to put on top, clasp your hands together and look down and see what thumb is on top. Whatever thumb is on top, that's the arm that should be on top. I'm left-handed, I put my left arm on top because that's most comfortable. Whichever way your arms are crossed, you want to cross your legs too, but opposite. So if your left arm is on top, then your right leg should be on top of the left leg and vice versa. I know it looks like it's reversed. It looks like this is my right arm. It's not. It's a mirror image. This is my left arm. So you put it on top, clasp your hands together, bend your elbows, and put your hands clasped together on your chest, on your heart chakra. Cross your legs opposite the way your arms are crossed, and I actually have to sit because, as I said, I have dizziness ba problems, balance problems, so I'm going back to doing this seated so you're not going to be able to see my legs. But again, cross your legs opposite the way your arms are crossed, clasp your hands together, bend at the elbows, and bring your clasped hands onto your heart chakra. And remember, if your left arm is on top of your right arm, then your right leg should be on top of your left leg and vice versa. So your leg should be crossed opposite the way your arms are crossed, hands clasped, elbows bent, hands clasped on heart chakra. And now when you have your arms and legs crossed and your hands in this position, let's just take a couple of in and out breaths. Best breathing is breathe in through the nose, out through the mouth, but most important of all, if you want to stay oral or nasal, that's fine. Most important is you want to have your tongue touching the roof of your mouth right behind your top row of teeth. There's a divot right above that. Just keep your tongue up there. Hands clasped on the heart chakra. Breathe in. Rise up when you inhale. Sink when you exhale. Exhale. And on the exhalation, you can let go of your hands. Bring your fingers to the center of your forehead. Press in and pull apart to your temples. So let me just start this once again. Arms crossed, opposite the way legs are crossed. Hands clasped, bent elbows, hands on heart chakra. Breathe in. And then on the out breath, let go and bring your thumbs together. Bridge of your nose, looking through there. Breathe out. And then bring your hands to your forehead. Press in and pull apart to your temples. 
And as you have your fingers at your temples, if you've got a headache or something, feel free to rub. This is a good spot to leave your fingers at. This is where the triple warmer meridian ends. Actually, it ends at the edges, the outer edges of the eyebrows, but this is on the triple warmer meridian, so this is a good spot to stay on for a moment if you wish. Or like I said, if you have headache, head pains, anything like that, feel free to massage. And then when you're done and when you're ready, just slide your hands to your heart chakra. And you can end the move here if you wish, or you can also add another move to the end of this move, which I like to call the triple warmer rub. I call it that because we are gonna be warming the triple warmer meridian here. So if you wanna continue on to the triple warmer rub, slide your hands up to the very top of your torso, onto the shoulders right where your neck is, and then you just slide them down and up your arms. And when you get up to the top, my hair is going to be in the way. But when you get up to the top, rub up the back of the neck, go up behind the ears. Sorry, I'm just trying to move the hair out of the way so you can see what I mean. But I'm saying go all the way up behind the ears, bring your index finger as high up past behind the ear as you can. And then just go back down the back of the neck, down the arms, all the way up the fingertips. And you can just go up and down as much as you wish. The way you can tell if this is doing anything or not is you should feel a temperature or a pressure shift when you're doing this part of it, when you're doing this part being the triple warmer rub. If you don't feel anything when you're doing this part, then feel free to skip the triple warmer rub. If it's not doing anything and it's not working for you, then please feel free to end this move at the heart chakra. And that is the Wayne Cook posture. I really do hope that was helpful for you. And if it was helpful, I ask that you please share it with anyone you think it might help. Also, let me know in the comments below what you think. Uh, give the video a like if you want. Subscribe to the channel. Anything you want. I am really looking forward to any kind of interactivity you guys want to give me. But again, as always, I thank you so much for your time. I will proofread this before I put this up. I'm hoping I'm audible really really hoping you can hear me because like i said i tried to do this video a couple times before and it never works so i'm really hoping this one did once again i thank you so much for your time peace and light i'm sending reiki energy your way right now thank you once again for your time i'll be back as soon as i possibly can peace and light namaste and i will hopefully see you again soon cheers Bye bye